guys, Lola here. So I just thought I would come in this fading daylight. Uh, springtime, isn't it wonderful? But yeah, to just show you some strength moves that I tend to do and that I've been doing for my running. Um, I've done another video many years ago, which is on here, which I will try to link, which is about dynamic stretches for runners, which I tended to do before running. Um, but I'm very lazy now, so I just go out and run. I tend to go slow. Session. And then I will do some drills, which I can do a separate video on, which basically just gets your legs used to moving in the right way and firing right to run fast. And I do those as well before I do a race. The other thing I do before a race is strides, but I can explain that in another video. Let me know below. Right, guys. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm really serious about my water situation. <laughs> These are actually being used as weights as well as this, and I tend to buy one of these every week um, so that I use the two liters of still spring water just for my earlier in the week weight session. And All right, guys, be good. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so for these air squats, what I tend to do is I either have my hands straight out in front or behind my ears and try and go as low as possible whilst keeping my back straight. I also show a side view and I usually now do them with weights but it's just as well doing it with body weight as well. My weights here are one litre bottles of tonic water because why not? Okay I love a good plank. The main thing is to keep your hips up and keep a straight line from your hips down to your feet. We have crunches, which can basically be done either with your feet on the floor or up like I have. And make sure your fingers are not holding your head, but just by your ears. The next move are lunges, and it's a good single leg exercise for runners, which you can make harder by doing weighted lunges or even doing reverse lunges. The weights can be held at your hips or at your shoulders. Now, for reverse lunges, make sure that you're very steady before you push back forwards or you will fall over. I have been prone to. The next move is either a bridge hold for 15 to 45 seconds, or you can make this harder by doing rollout bridges where you lift up your hips and then roll back and forth, either on a foam roller or even a Swiss ball. I advise starting with a simple bridge hold to get used to this. Last but not, but not least is the trusty push-up, which you can do with the full body version, which is basically holding a plank and going up and down, or doing the kneeled version higher up. As you can see, I suck at the kneeled version because I don't really do them. Sorry. And that's it. Rest for one minute and repeat another two times or three times to complete your workout. As always, I hope you found this helpful and do leave a comment below, share this video if you enjoyed it and let me know how you're getting on with this lockdown situation. 2020 is being really funny, but we don't have to give into it. All right guys, stay strong and stay safe.